Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to you all. At the very outset of my space, I would like to welcome you all the cadets of class 10 of Burishal Cadet Calls. I think you are mentally well and physically sound. Cadets, you all know that due to the pandemic corona, I am the Saiful Islam Associate Professor of History has decided to take online class. And I expect that you will be with me for the next 80 minutes. So, cadets, no more introduction, no more delay. First of all, let's enjoy a video clip. Now, I think it is very much clear to you that what is our discussion topic? Our discussion topic is the social change of Bangladesh, chapter number 40. From this chapter, you can explain the concept of social change. You can analyze the impact of social change in the rural and urban societies of Bangladesh. You can explain the changes in the role of women as an important factor of social change and the award of the matter caused by social change. Now, here is society is changeable. The society of Bangladesh is also no exception of this. The old problem are assuming complicated. On the other hand, new problems have evolved. We shall know about the concept of social change, the reasons of change in the society of Bangladesh, the impact of the change, and the changes in the role of Woman. Now, the concept of social change. The social change means the changes in social structure and its activities. What is the definition of social change? Social change means the changes in social structure and its activities. The fundamental structure of every society is formed through the production system of that society. Let's mind it. Fundamental structure of every society is formed through the production system of that society. 
not only that the relation among the various professionals are related to that system number one production system of the society number two relation among various professionals related to that society not only that some other superstructures are also developed along with this structure like the rules and regulations like politics culture etc so the changes of fundamental and superstructure of the society are called social changes i repeat the changes of fundamental and super social structure of society are called social changes sociologist kingsley davis said social change is the change in the social structure and activity things that i will said social change is the change in social structure and that is the definition that is the definition of things that it is on the other hand socialist mckeever said social change is the change in the human relationship social change is the change in the human relationship that is social change is the behavioral change of a group of a person and organization trading in the society this relationship depend on social change in the behavioral change of a person of a group and organization trading in the society so it can be said that social change is the overall change in the life system of a nation can it i repeat it can be said that social change is the overall change in the life system of a nation and it may sometimes at a slow pace sometimes at a quick pace the impact of these changes deeply touch the economy politics social policy religious values and even the age old system of life tell us remember the changes deeply touch the economy politics social policy religious values and even the age old system of life it is the change in the culture and tradition of the society certainly it is the change in the culture and tradition of the society now kids i would like to discuss about the components of the change of the society of bangladesh and its impact the socio economic changes in bangladesh is evident in the various field of the country like the social political educational religion and culture at the root of the changes in this field of this society there are some specific factors what is that number one the cultural factor number two the organic factor number three the cultural factor number four the educational factor number five the technological factor number 6 the communication and number 7 the industrialization look at this i would like to one after another 
I would like to discuss about one after another. First of all, the nature of factor, the natural factor. The geographical position of Bangladesh is a notable cause of social change. Geographical position of Bangladesh is a notable cause of social change. The natural calamities such as the river erosion, tidal, SARS, flood, tornado, drought, heavy rain, etc. are some as the daily phenomena in this country. What is that? Like river erosion, tidal, SARS, flood, tornado, drought, heavy rain are some of them as the daily phenomena these natural calamities spoil the balance of the environment and there appears the necessity of adopting the new system for adjusting with the environment. Consequently, the change of social relationship take place among people. For example, the river relation is one of the causes of the growth of some of the urban areas and it has given birth to multifarious and in this way global warming and natural disaster causes various new problems people accomplish the changes of the society Look at the screen. There is one of the example of the natural factor, which is river erosion. Now, the organic factor. The organic factor is an important factor of social change. The birth and mortality rate, average life expectancy, the density of the population, the nature of population, and the standard of life. The increase and decrease in population, the change in migration play an important role in the I repeat, the increase and decrease in population, the change in migration play an important role in the social change. The decrease in birth and mortality rate is contributing to the change of the structure of the society. Because of the increase in population, diverse problems like tough competition have taken place in the field of unemployment, child labor, and employment. Chris, now I would like to discuss about the cultural factor to change the society. Culture initiates social change. If we look at any society, diversified culture, difference in people's value, difference in objectives, and ideology will be noticed. Diversified culture, difference in people's value, difference in objectives and ideology will be purchased. As a result of this, organization nurtured by various culture has been created and those cause difficult kind of changes in the society. Yes, for example, during the British reign, 
the impact of foreign culture on the social system of Bengal was especially noticeable. Traveling the foreign countries, meeting people of other countries, bringing about the social changes. Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Gautam Buddha, Jesus Christ, those noble men presented before the people new views, new values, ideologies that initiated diverse change in the society at the time. A blend form of diverse culture is also perceived when you look at the city of Bangladesh. It is now uh, I would look to like to discuss about the education sector. Uh, I think it's the most powerful sector to change our society. The special factors of social change is education. The special factors of social change is education. Education is the making of the kind of reform a ceaseless process. Education, the making of one kind of reform, a ceaseless process. Certainly, education is a ceaseless process. The spread of education among the members of the society arouses the self confidence power of judgment and consideration. The state of education among the members of the society arouses self-confidence, the power of judgment and the consideration. Today, it is very much clear, it is very much true that if you have no education, you should have not self-confidence. You have not power of judgment and the consideration. For example, education delivers us from all kinds of blindness, ignorance, superstitions, etc. For example, the female education created awareness among the people which has motivated various social movements, women's rights, various special policies, and law have been formulated. The Dowry Act, family laws, women development policy is the outcome of this social awareness. The female education has made women eligible for out their work. Others, you can see one of the example of education factor on the screen. So you can easily what a powerful factor. Education is what a powerful factor change our society. Now, I would like to discuss about the impact of technology. Technology is the applied side of science. What kind of science? Applied side of science. Through the introduction and expansion of technology, the mindset of the people in a social system and social structure experience changes. Through the introduction and expansion of technology, the mindset of the people in a social system and social structure experiences changes. For example, the invention of a radio influence the medium of amusement in the social structure, social life, education system also, politics, and many other kinds of social activities. 
he mentions radio influence the social life. Because of the gradual development of technology, it is two types of digit. Gradual development of technology has two types of effect in our social system. One is direct, another is indirect. The direct example, the expansion of range of social communication, impact of urban life, of rural life, are the direct influence of technology. I repeat, expansion of a range of social communication, impact of urban life, of rural life, are the direct influence of technology. Number two, the increasing problems of unemployment, the distance between the labor and the owners, the rise in the intensity of competition are the indirect effects of the change of technology. What is the indirect effect? What is the uh, indirect change? It's an increasing problem, unemployment. The distance between labor and owners rise of intensity of the competition is are the indirect effects of the change of technology. PC culture, breeding of cattle, cow fattening are the direct outcome of the what is that? PC culture, breeding of cattle, cow fattening are the direct outcome of technology. The technology has brought about a big change in the economy of agriculture. Technology has brought about a big change in the economy of agriculture. You can see on the screen the computer, the tractor. The invention of computer and the invention of tractor is the outcome, is the factor to change our society. It is one of the examples of our technology. Now, I would like to discuss about the communication factor. The communication is one of the main factors of social change. The communication is one of the main factors of social change. The communication by land, communication by water, communication by air, telephone, fax, internet, email, Dishantina, mobile phone, radio, television, different kinds of things. Now it is possible to pick and read the necess necessary book using words, best library sitting in the house. Because of this unthinkable development of communication. It can change your mind. It can change your activities. It can change your relationship. So you can think what a powerful factor to change our society. Yes. You can see on the screen one of the examples the invention. Chris, now I would like to discuss about the industrialization and urbanization. The industrialization is such a process by which the agriculture based economy and social system is transformed into a mechanical industry 
based on production oriented economy. The industrialization is a such a process by which the agriculture based economy, the agriculture based economy and social system is transformed into a mechanical industry. Agriculture based economy and social system transfer into mechanical industry based on production oriented economy and society. Due to the widespread industrialization, the process of switching from rural life to urban life is called urbanization. What is called urbanization? Due to the widespread industrialization, the process of switching from rural life to urban life is called urbanization. After liberation, so many garments, medicine factory, tea factory, sugar factory, cotton factory, paper, tobacco, soft industry was established. And due to the expansion of these industry, credits find it due to the expansion of this industry, many skilled and unskilled labor of villages are going to cities to be relied of unemployment and are having problems. What is that? Due to this problem, due to the expansion of industry, so many laborers from villages are going to the city. What for? To be employed. The transportation and communication system have developed because of the industrialization and urbanization. What is that? Also, transportation and communication system have developed because of the industrialization and urbanization. The philosophy of life, the attitude, the mentally, mental and the values of an individual have undergone change. But what? To establish the industrial industry can be changed the philosophy of life. It can be changed your attitude the mental condition, it can change your values of an individual have undergone change and the great effect of industrialization is to create nuclear family, to create nuclear family. and it is a great effect of the is the great impact, it's the great factor of industrial Again, many problems including diverse divorce in the family, insecurity of the elderly, criminal tendency and other social problems have caused. What is that? Due to industrialization, divorce in the family, insecurity of the elderly, criminal tendency and other social problems have, uh, have emerged. The growth of slums in the city of our country is an outcome of industrialization. The growth of slums in the city of our country is an outcome of industrialization. Slums have been grown in the place where garments industry, tannery industry, tobacco and beauty industry have been established. And it has given birth to many social problems. What type of problem? What type of problem? Like conflict, like hijack, like robbery, like crime, like adolescent crime criminal tendency, 
in a social life. This problem also created chain of problem. This problem also created a chain of problem which have embittered the city life. If you say in a world, industrialization is on one side a blessing for the urban economy, on the other side a curse to on the other side. One is blessing, another is curse. Threads, you can see picture of industry and you can imagine what effect of our society. Yes. Now I would like to discuss about the social change and the role of women. In Bangladesh, the gradual development of industry has brought about great change to women's life and other dignity. Women is not confined to the boundary of primary and secondary. They are now, now studying in institutions like medical college, general university. Women are now being involved in various works. At one time, women was confined only to the household work. Today, in the urban area of Bangladesh, women are doing jobs in many industries, mills and factories like garments industry, medicine manufacturing factory, telephone and telecommunication industry, duty industry, tea industry, paper industry, architecture industry, fish processing industry. In our uh, rural perspective, women has created self-employment, taking loans from government or non-government or government. A report presented by Bangladesh in the Fourth World Communist Women Conference, Beijing, in 1995, states that among the total students of the university, the number of female students is 23%. In the medical college and in the engineering university, respectively, 29%. And 9% of the students are women. Now, nowadays, government has been running a Kukubriti project with a view to expanding the female education, which has taken the rural female education one step ahead. The participation of women in the defense forces is also praiseworthy. With the social change, the role of women are also carrying out many social responsibilities. The changes in the women's role has undergone change in the various scale. It has placed her on the seat of dignity. Yes. You can see on this train. The role of women, the contribution of women of our society. So, activities of women easily change our society. Now, the conclusion. Society is changeable, and of this change in social life, all problems are assuming complicated form on one side. On the other side, new problem had been. 
society and social problems are closely related. The social problems persisted at the very birth of the society and are still continuing. Only the nature of problem has changed. The social problems hampered our everyday life. We have to be more aware about this. But it is true that society will be changed. Now the questionnaire and it's then you stem read out the stem and four question here. Question number one is a knowledge type question. Question number two. Is understanding it has also two parts knowledge and understanding or realization question number three it is application type question it has also three parts knowledge understanding and application question number four it is analyzing question higher order type question or higher ability or deep learning whatever you say. Cadets, remember, I will upload the assignment on 2nd July. Remember, I repeat, I will upload the assignment on 2nd July. Before Conclude my space. Players, you all know that whole world is COVID-19 affected. In Bangladesh, now it is dangerous condition. So all time you should remain in your house. You should maintain quarantine. Wash your hand again and again. Don't take cold water and ice tea. Try to make yourself safe and sound. If any problem, you must make us know about your problem. I think Allah will save us. Thank you very much. Thank you all.